Yo, it's Joe and welcome to another video. We're gonna be finishing up episode one of campaign two. Check out the Patreon, links in the description. Let's go, it's going down. Isn't part of the show? I thought this was like really good. It's too artsy, you know? It's too artsy for me. Weapons, yes. The old man's body stops quaking, his flesh now gray and mangled like an ancient tree trunk. He turns, his eyes blood red and bulging, his lips curled into a horrifying grimace. The two crowns guard begin to try and make their way through the panicked crowd, but the people, like a wave of chaos, are keeping them at bay. I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh! Yes, sir, roll initiative. The miniatures come out, guys. Oh. 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 I rolled a natural one. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yikes. Right. Well, so you guys, oh. this guy is actually over here. You guys are all up here in the front. So when it so when it comes to initiative, like uh, in Marisha's example, right, she just rolled the natural one, right? Does that mean that she's gonna go last, like even after like the opponents and everything, or like how does that work? Because um, I believe, and I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Matt roll for the uh, opponents um, to get excuse me to get their order um, in the way that they'll be attacking? Let me know, because I'm curious about that, actually. Oh, yeah, we were right in the oh. fucking front row. Oh. Oh, my God. That's so that. cool how you made, like, a little a little uh, oh. thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> so pretty. We're oh. all going to die. <laughs> oh, but God. then the third campaign begins. <laughs> Yay. Okay, wow. Okay. I like the tents and donkeys outside. Amazing. Oh, look, the palace and the Bardo. I love the little Bardo. Oh, I love the little Bardo. Mm. Oh, no, no, go, go for it. <laughs> Put it right huh? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. All right, so 20 to 15. 21. Oh. What does he mean, 20 to 15? Like if anybody got a twenty to uh to a fifteen, I guess, they would go first, I guess. He's just trying to gauge the Oh no, he just rolled. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Alright, so twenty to fifteen. Did he just roll? You gotta explain this part to me. I'm gonna just try to let it play and I'll try to piece it together myself. I might figure it out, but if I don't you know, yeah, yeah, I know the vibes. Help a brother out. Twenty-one. Oh. All right. Uh. Oh wait, twenty-two. Nice. <laughs> nice. Fifteen to ten. 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 Twelve. Thirteen. So yeah, he's oh, wow. just asking who got fifteen to twenty or who got fifteen to ten. Oh. Eleven. Hold on. And then so thirteen and yeah. ten and ten. Me oh, 10? 12, 12. Sorry, 12. 11. So Yashi got 13. Uh, then we have uh, Ford. And then 11. 11. And then we have Don't Not. Die. 10 for Not the Brave. A 10. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and what'd you get? 5. All right. And we rolled terribly. Mm. Oh, up the rear. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So. No. Top of the round as this creature turns. Oh, another question I meant to ask. So, um, when you're creating your character, right, and you have your, I'm assuming they're called like your initiative points, like how many points you have by default for initiative. Um, since she rolled a one, I'm assuming she had four points. So, and then she added the one to her four and got five. Um, so, how do you come up with your character's? initiative points like how does that work how do you scale that to make it like fair you know what i mean what do you roll for that just curious i looked up like a video on like the basics but um there's like a some things it was just like a quick like four minute video so there was like some things that like they didn't quite answer that i didn't that i didn't quite pick up on or understand so i like i'll be asking that but that's one of them that i was curious about and it kind of glares about in the area, this swollen form over here to the side. That's what remains that's of the old man who had stood up in the center of the chamber. Jester, you're up first. Swollen form over here. 
Top of the round, as this creature turns and kind of glares about in the area, this swollen form over here to the side, mm. that's what remains that's of the old man who had stood up in the center of the chamber. Jester, you're up first. Who's well, fighting? Okay. Well, I'm just going to go for it, all right? I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt mm-hmm. on the the monster that just appeared. Okay, as it turns towards you. It's a saving throw, correct? Right? Uh, or is it, it a... Find out. A flash of light streaks, you make a ranged spell attack. Oh, range spell attacks. Go ahead and roll. Okay, as it turns towards you. It's a saving throw, correct? Right? Uh, or is it, it a. Let's no. find out. A oh, flash he said, of light streaks, he's you make asking a if it was a saving spell throw. Spell attacks. Go ahead and roll for attack on that, please. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Magic. Uh, You're using magic. <laughs> oh, that's cock. Well, that's cock. It was 20 and then it rolled. It is cock. Uh, you said cock. <laughs> You're a cock. <laughs> that's 11 plus. What do I add to Your my spell? guiding bolt plus five, so 16. 16 hits, go and roll damage. Yay, 4d6. Uh-huh. Yasha, you're almost on deck, so be ready. Okay. Ooh, 10, 16, 18. 18, and then any uh, attacks um, in the future have, uh, and the next attack has advantage. So how much damage was that? It was 2d6, 18? 18 damage. 4d6, she said. Yeah, it was 4d6 radiant damage. Oh, that's all right. So yeah, it was a 18. Already? I don't think Frog and Dwarf will are bad. And then I'm going the to Genius. I'm going to oh. run the uh, opposite direction away from him, but I'm going to keep my duplicate um, up there. Okay, which for your duplicate? Duplicate? I'm so lost right now. Hold duplicate. on a second. To I know she had a ranged spell that she just shot. So yeah, it was a 18. I don't think Frog and Dwarf will are bad. And then I'm going to I'm going to oh. run the uh, opposite direction away from him, but I'm going to keep my duplicate um, up there. So is that what your spell did? Did it create like a light or a radiant energy? I think she called it duplicate, or am I just missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. We'll figure it out. <laughs> For your duplicate, I should go ahead and grab some. Oh, you've got toys. Whoa. Wait, what? What's in the bag? Yo, he came prepared, man. He's like, I got all sorts of knickknacks to make this, to make this live, baby. There we go. We'll pull you. Oh my God! Did you actually do this? Did you do? Your duplicate, wherever you want. Okay. To, wherever you want to move it from where you are. Okay. So shoot it there. Two. So she's going to stay here. Oh my. I mean, her, I can't reach that far. But... Oh, 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 oh shit! Sorry. She's dead. <laughs> there. There. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't realize it was like. You can get there as the closest. Okay, that right sounds here. good. Okay, so it ends your turn. At the top of your turn, this creature, closest to one of the. Uh, the people nearby screaming, this this uh, young woman who's trying to back away, if she just turns toward her and <laughs> grabs and tries to tear into her with two strikes. Bro, that sound effect was crazy. <laughs> grabs and tries to tear into her with two strikes. Whoa. The first one, that is actually going to miss. She ducks out of the way and begins crawling across the ground as it goes for a second attack. That, however, does hit. Yeah, it's a 16. That'll do it. So with uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage, it reaches down and slams its fist into her chest. And as it does, she kind of gives out this horrible yelp as it kind of rips into her and begins gnawing into her flesh and pulls away with a mouthful of it and then stands up, its eyes now scanning the room for the next possible victim. It's going to begin to stalk forward. Coming up to that guy. All right, Yasha, your turn. Um. How close am I to them? Uh, I, w- I want to give give them the weapons. Right there. Uh, you would have. You're pretty close to everybody. You could distribute with. You could use your action to toss your weapons. The weapons out to everybody this turn. I'll say. Okay. I'll pass my weapons out for this turn. Okay. So yeah. you'll spend your action kind of hey, throwing them out yeah. to the individuals. So your short sword and crossbow kind of clatter to the ground, and you quickly scramble to grab them. Uh, Caleb's dagger falls at his foot. Your staff gets tossed quickly from behind you. Your falchion. Meets your arm. Touch. Touch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that ends Yasha's turn. Ford, you're up. Uh, <clears throat> can I uh, run up with the falchion uh, within melee? Right you actually walk through. Oh, 
that's a fountain. <laughs> you rush through Jester's form. You watch the kind of image kind of dissipate as you kind of charge through it Whoa. and meet up right face to face with this large, kind of gnarled, uh, horrible looking creature. What are you doing? Ripping the fountain. Can I swing into the creature? You may. Okay. Oh, God. And you get advantage. I do? Because I had... Oh, yeah, that's right, that's the that's next attack. <laughs> well, it's like, like plus uh, three, she said, right? 18 hits, good roll damage. Nice. One. <laughs> I do? Because I had... She's got a uh -huh. creature. What are you doing? Ripping the falchion, can I swing into the creature? You may. Okay. Oh, God. And you get advantage. I do? Because I had... She's got a bolt. Yeah. Thank God, because that was <laughs> <No>. one. <laughs> uh, 18. 18 hits, good roll damage. Nice. It's a real fight! Yeah. Oh, man. 11. 11 points of damage. You shot like a dozen hit points. We'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're doing great. <laughs> Alrighty. That ends your turn. That's it. All right, you're done. Uh, that brings us to Caleb. Uh, I would like to use my movement to push as far into the crowd as I can. Okay, going this through the crowd is half ten, movement. Half ten, movement. That's fine. Considered sure. Rough terrain. So I just want people in it's front. It's considered of what? The crowd is use my movement to push as far into the crowd as I can. Okay, going this through the crowd is half ten, movement. Ten, half movement. That's fine. Sure. Rough terrain. So I just want uh. people in front of me. You push through <laughs> oh to about God. there. You end up like pushing a kid out of the way. That's it's great. That's right. exactly fine with me. And <laughs> I will uh, pull out the diamond and cast chromatic. Ooh, and what? I will send a ball of cold at the uh, creature that uh, for, for fjord. Ford. All right, yeah, go ahead and make a uh, make a, a spell attack. Yes, here it comes. Watch out for fjord. <laughs> uh, my goodness, that is a seventeen. Seventeen hits. Good roll damage. Okay. Is it chromatic orb like a really strong spell? No. There's like um. Hold on. My goodness. That is a 17. 17 hits, gold roll damage. Okay. So is he saying 17 hits and then, and then he's saying go to roll for damage? Oh no, he's saying that the 17 hits. Oh, duh, Joe. It's okay, the wheels are clicking. So you initially have to roll to see, to see if you're going to even be able to get an attack out right to get through their um their 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 what is it the eight their ac right so he's saying that the 17 will be able to go and hit over the ac so now he's saying roll for how much damage am i right am i right i think i'm right i'm getting it i'm getting it is it chromatic orb like a really strong spell no there's like um chromatic it's prismatic spray, spray. Oh. Prismatic, yeah, 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 prismatic yeah. is like the it's like the starter version. Uh, yeah. that is a yeah. nine Nine of colds. 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 Nine of End of your turn? That's good and great. All right, not you're up. Okay, having seen the beautiful uh, <laughs> dwarven girl, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who sang and soothed a monster earlier in the show, I'm going to attempt to sing and soothe this monster. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I step forward oh and I open my mouth and Wait, I say, And I will always. <laughs> Dude, no shot, bro. Yo, Sam is Sam is a <laughs> Sam is a clown, bro. <laughs> it is a classic song, man. It's beautiful. If, if if a song is gonna move you, you know, hey, Whitney, Whitney always got it, man. Whitney Houston always got it with that banger, man. I will always soothe you. Ooh, all right, all right, we're good, Sam. We got it. Yeah, that's that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> you held that long for uh, you held that note uh, for a couple seconds uh, too long there. Mm. I, like nails on a truck board. <laughs> <laughs> a voice only his mother could love, right? Or not his mother would love. He's <laughs> killing the memory of Scandal. Can't let that wow. go. Make wow. a performance check. Performance not check. Can't live oh, it's wow. really good. It's really good. 18. What the hell is a performance check? 
That one I haven't heard of. Minus three, so that's 15. <laughs> okay, uh, as you're singing out this discordant sound, nearby folks are covering their ears. It was minus three, and his that's what the minus three was due to his charisma not being that high. So, well, her charisma, I keep saying his. So, does the performance check have to do with charisma? I guess how charismatic his performance was. I'm assuming that that's what that's got to mean. Ears and glancing back and looking in surprise at this strange creature giving off this. Does it this die? Uh, no, however, it, it, it now ever taking a few hits nearby, its red eyes, or at least one red eye, like, oh. slips over to look in your direction. Uh. That's as much of an effect. Fuck! As <laughs> you Sam's like, yo, I was really hoping to kill him with that. I was hoping it was going to be a killer performance. It killed my ears. It probably, it probably pissed him off even more. He's like, hey, yo, who is that little ass girl shrieking like that? I'm gonna eat her next. Move or you're gonna stay there? Yes, I'm gonna move and uh, I'm gonna uh, dash behind somebody in the in the crowd, some weak looking individual. Okay. <laughs> behind there. Uh, yes, that's okay. good. All right, that's that our MO, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you're up. Oh, shit. Okay. Do it. To that's kind so of like cool. um, RP my tragic one on the first fucking battle. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. I'm just gonna kind of turn oh, to everybody and go, guys. Yeah, no, guys, sir, it's part of the show. Molly said that like people die. Like she was just a clack. Okay. And then I run and I'm gonna <laughs> kind of like tackle the zombie guy. Okay. Can I see if I can grapple him? You can certainly on the Down. first attack. Go for it. Go ahead and make a, an acrobatics or athletics check. Sorry. Just straight athletics. Yes. Well, oh god, do I keep that? Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Level two. Seventeen. You attempt with your, with your first oh strike, god. and it, 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 the creature just breaks away. Its strength is far more than you imagine it would be from what was originally a very kind of elderly looking frame. Uh, I go. Two. Oh, fuck that. I don't know if that's true. And I'm going to do flurry of blows and do yeah. two. Yes. Pop, pop. Okay. That's unarmed, right? Correct. Pop pop. <laughs> so her her moving up to him and grappling him. Does does the grapple not count as an as like a, some form of an action because it's not a specific part of her move set? Is that what it is? But then again, I mean, not just saying a song, and I'm pretty sure singing isn't in a goblin stealthy whatever things move set either. I don't know. That is correct. I believe. Okay. Right? I do two. Okay? Yes, but right? using your key point to do that, yes. Yes, I am. So, um, first one. You're using your right? what? Using your key point to do that, yes. Yeah. That is correct. Pop, pop. <laughs> that is correct. I believe. Okay. Right? I do two. Okay? Yes, but right? using your key point to do that, yes. Yes, I am. So, um, the first hell is one. The key point? It's plus six. Okay. First one's 19. No, 20. First one's 20 total. And then the second one is 15 total. Both hit. Roll damage for each. Okay. Nice. Not well, great. Not great. Their D4s are just D4s like are fancy cool. D4s. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, that is four, eight, uh, 11 points of damage. Pop, pop. Between both? Yep. Great. So after the, the grapple fails and it puts damage, uh, that is just D4s like wow, fancy. Cool. Not great. Not great. Not great. Not great. Their D4s are just like fancy D4s. Yeah. Um, uh, that is four, eight, uh, 11 points of damage. Pop, pop. Yep. Great. So after the, the grapple fails and it pushes you away, you go ahead and pull back and then leap, kick it in the chest, and then uppercut it in the chin. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah, that's pretty badass. Back towards you. So that would be I mean, putting you up base to base with it there. Already. Pending your turn? Yep. Okay, at that point, the crowd is now screaming and begins to swell and push in this direction. These folks all begin to run back and around this way. This I'm surprised they haven't started running the already. They're trying to push forward and they can only get a little ways forward to there and there. Um, everyone just shifts out this direction. Oh God, then we Almost get pushed. trampled. It's really a hazard. They should have had um, more exits. I mean, it's a fire hazard. <laughs> yeah. Caleb sure. and Not, I need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Ooh, real well. That's 
That's a nine. That's a nine. Fifteen. Oh, pretty good. That is um, seventeen for me. All right. You mm-hmm. both managed to just bob and weave through the crowd to prevent being trampled and kind of backing away from the chaos as people are pushing through. Mm. The entrance is too small for everyone to leave, and there's now a giant bottleneck that's beginning to push up as people are now screaming and trying to get out. They're crying, and the, the chaos is just swelling into this this absolute cacophony. Um, as soon as that finishes, the uh, the devil toad carrying the dwarven girl who was given a decree exits out the back with her okay. to get her to safety. These two uh, begin to slowly back away, seeing that at least things seem to be handled. And the car's <laughs> making its way and are like looking scared at each other and not really knowing what to make of the current chaos. Um, at that point, you watch as the woman whose chest was torn into by this creature oh. suddenly oh. Oh, no. snaps up into place. Yo. Oh, shit. So is this a creature that could bite you and turn you? That's crazy. Imagine if it would have attacked more people. That would have been it. Would have been game over. It would have been Dunyan rings. But that's like the worst kind of uh, worst kind of enemy to fight. An enemy that could create other enemies. Oh. Okay, we have to keep them from being dead. Okay. Yep. Oh, no. That's just Top a big pain in the ass. Chester, you're up. Oh, Chester. God. Okay. 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 Molly, Molly. Sorry. No. I'm on. Sorry. Oh. What was oh, your yeah, your initiative again? Ten. Ten. Oh shit. Ten. Until he. That's right, you are not. That's what happened. That's what yeah, happened. Yeah, that's all right. So, Molly, you go ahead and go. Your uh, turn as well. My apologies. I'm going to yell in the back, open the tent wide! And I'm going to pull. How far away am I? You're right there. You're like in the middle of the crowd as it's swarming around you oh, and you. Buddy. Uh, I'm going to run around and see if I can flank that creature, if I can right m- move towards flanking that creature with the other two. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can't really flank it, but you can get next to it. All right, can I get close enough to take a shot? You can, yeah. Um, so you kind of dodge Wait, through. Guns? Guns? Well, old take habit. A, take a, the old habit. The old habit's grown deep. What you doing? Um, as a bonus, I'm flipping it out, and I'm going to activate the first sword. Okay, so you watch as Molly pulls the scimitar out and kind of, as he as he unsheathes it, draws it across the side of his exposed chest, causing a little bit of blood to kind of spill out. And as it does, he pulls the blade out and he watches the edge suddenly, uh, ice crystals begin to build on the outside of the blade. Oh, and I'm shit. taking a shot at the, at the creature. Okay. Okay. I'm taking a shot? Taking a slice. Taking a slice. <laughs> That's taking a fire. A stab. So, so he, he went. Bah, and then he's about to, <laughs> the other hand, get it. Uh, that's uh, 21 to hit. That hits. All right, and that's, uh, that's oh. not bad. That's uh, eight points of damage and one point of ice damage. Nine okay, points. so nine points of damage in the first strike? Yep. Uh, that's, that's, no, I, that was my bonus. Oh, sorry, your bonus, yeah, that's, so. it, that's all you got. Yep. Okay, so one strike, you just cut across, and you watch as you cut this wide wound open, and kind of exposing the fleshy organs interior, Ugh. but they're frozen where the wound cut through, and it's still holding it together. It's looking like it's starting to hurt a bit and fall apart slightly. Um, this is the bigger monster? So it's the yeah. one I'm, I'm fighting? Yes. All right. Yes. Um, so that enters your moment. Mm-hmm. Brings us to the top. So Jester, sorry, back to you. Jester, you. Oh no, now I'm worried. Just do it. Make mistakes. <laughs> Just do it. I'm worried about <laughs> no one's watching. The undead. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't think I would know this, so it's okay. Um, I'm going to say to the air and say, Dude, are you here? Because this is like the coolest shit we've ever seen. And then I'm going to cast Toll the Dead. Uh, so that's how Molly looks. Yo, Molly looks. <laughs> Yo, he looks. He looks cool as hell. What? Yeah, that's fire. On the the first zombie creature guy. And there's a bell that tolls on round oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Told the dead. Told the dead. Yeah, oh, it's really cool. Rad, he has to make a wisdom saving throw or take 1d12 necrotic damage. Oh. Which is what I think. Natural is one. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Don't roll a d12. Get him. Oh, three. That's okay. lame. Yeah. Three well, points of necrotic yeah. damage. So as this this suddenly this deep kind of uh, temple bell boom rings out in the air above, you watch as this creature who has turned and is beginning to just wail upon the, the surrounding allies that are curling at its sides. It kind of 
seems to retract from the sh- from the sound and cover its ears briefly before angrily begin lashing out. And reaction. I made that sound like it was coming from my duplicate. Correct. And my duplicate's going to run um, back a little bit and stand next to the pole. There. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Is that your turn? Yes. All right. The um, the standing creature that's now been kind of sliced, bludgeoned, and wounded by all three of you is going to go ahead and make two strikes at Roll family to see who it goes for. Oh, man. Uh, that's going to be at Beauregard. Beauregard. <laughs> it swings at you twice. Both so how did he just do that? How did he roll to see who the creature was going to hit? Let me know. Is it because of it's whoever's closest? And the lower the number he rolls, the closer he has to hit the person? Like, the closer the person has to be for him to hit them? Is that what it is? Both of its giant, massive clawed fists just kind of striking out towards you. The first Not my favorite is, character. Uh, 17 to hit. My armor class is 17. So Whoa, that's 17. it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. This first one just whams. Oh, I thought that if it matched the armor class, that it that it would be negated. So if it's the armor, if it's the armor class or above, it's gonna hit. Okay. So if it was a sixteen, she would have just made it. But since it was a seventeen, okay. Slams you in the chest. You feel the wind knocked out of you for a brief second. The second swing is gonna come at you. That is gonna be a twenty to hit. Ooh. Uh, yep, 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 that hit. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep, uh-huh, and that's going to yep, be uh, six points of bludgeoning damage, Steve. Oh, oh, oh shit. Uh-huh. Wow. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what is the difference between the different kinds of damages? I don't know what the different kinds of damages are. Um, I'm assuming like there's dot damage, like damage over time from some sort of weapons, but like a bludgeon, a bludgeoning weapon, what is that going to do? Does that create stuns? Um, that's what sounds like what that would be, like that would uh, create stuns, whereas a sharper weapon, like let's say like a sword, would maybe create uh, slashing damage and cl- cause, could probably cause like bleed damage, like damage over time, something like that. But like, what are the different kinds? And like, let me know if I'm like on the right track. Oh, oh, I'm bad. Hard. I'm After bad. It, it slams into you once with the fist, and the other one grabs into your like stomach, abdomen region. The claws kind of Ugh. dig in, and it, its jaw unhinges and slightly drops like a snake's. Uh, uh, I turn to Fort and I go, "I'm not a clack. This is this show's bullshit." <laughs> <laughs> I love how nonchalant Bo is about it. Like, this is some bullshit. I'd be saying the same thing. I'm not a clack. This is show's bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) The other one is going to rush forward towards you, Molly Mock, as you're the closest one to it. uh, And it's going to take one swing at you. Yeah, no. What do you know? I'm going to use Blood Maledict. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so you're using a reaction? Yeah, using my reaction. We don't have to roll anything. He just has disadvantage on his strike. Oh, that's right. Well, so, all right, so I'm assuming because these guys have played the game so much, they have an understanding of, like, the different attacks. Is that just something that I'll learn in time, like, what certain type of attacks will do, or is there a way to, like, figure out what they do based upon the name? I'm not, yep. I'm not doubling it up. That'll do it. He rolled a six. He said I'm not what? Oh, that's right, so I'm not, yep. I'm not doubling it up. That'll do it. He rolled a 16 and then a 4. Yep, um, oh, never mind. So as it swings towards you, you watch as suddenly the reddish burning eyes oh, of the oh. center, second creature go black. And it goes way too wide and misses you. You easily duck out of the way with its first strike. As it runs past uh, towards you this way, uh, you get an attack opportunity as it leaves your attack range to oh, attempt yeah. to swing around Molly for a second strike. Go for it. Uh, that is 16. 16 hits, good roll damage. Nice. <laughs> That's 12 off. points of damage. <laughs> 12 points of damage. Wow. With that, you, with this brief opening as it rushes past Molly Mock, after its eyes go black, you watch as it kind of stumbles, its vision ruined. With that moment, you swing out with your, with your, uh, Falchion. Falchion, falchion thank yes. You. Uh, so, well, yeah, it's a falchion, that's right. Falchion. And falchion. You strike across the back of its shoulder. You see this, this once, well, once was, was this kind of beautiful young woman is now this swollen, horrible, undead form lumbering mm. past, and you just cut a heavy chunk of meat off of its shoulder. Oh. Um, it curves around and makes a second strike at you, Molly Mock. Um, 
This one without advantage. That's a natural 18. Uh, that puts, yeah, it's a 24 to hit. All right. You take eight points of bludgeoning damage. <gasps> as the first one, you manage to move out of the way, and as you spin your scimitar around, glance over just in time to have it clock you right across the jaw. Your vision kind of blurs Fine. and doubles for a second. Um, that's going to end their turn. Yasha, you're up. All right, Yasha. Let's go. Let's go, muscles. Um, can I get to that? Can I get to the big, Yasha. big beast? Uh, yes, beast you can. Beast number one. The big beast. Five, ten, fifteen, big beast. twenty, big beast. twenty-five. <laughs> yeah, through okay, there. Okay, so you this is the first there. time I've done this, so I'm hopefully I won't do this wrong. I'm um, going to punch. I would like to rage. <laughs> Yo, you rage too? We all gonna rage? So is this, so is rage, I thought that rage was strictly, but then again, all I really know about it is from the show, but I thought that that was like a barbarian thing. Is Yasha a barbarian? I, I forget from when they showed her uh, her card. If they even did show her card. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember. Um, But can anybody rage? Is that a thing anybody can do? I would like to rage. <laughs> And you know, you know, you know, Travis was like, hell yeah, let's, let's go. Everybody's souped. Look at everybody's face. Every, look at Matt's face. Look at Travis. Matt is like a schoolgirl right now. And uh, tra look at Travis, of course, super hyped. Marisha's like, oh, hell yeah. Liam's like, oh, hell yeah. Sam's like, oh, shit. Laura's like, oh, shit. And, um, Taliesin cannot believe, apparently, what he just heard. <laughs> he looks like he is having a flashback right now. Um, now, you know, he looks kind of like, uh, <laughs> you know, the PogChamp meme from Twitch? Like, the <laughs> that's his face. And then Ashley's like, yeah, I did that. So Wait, you and reckless attack? Is yeah, you can reckless attack any of your attacks. You just ah. you can do it right away. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that something you do later? No, no, no you can. Yeah. Wait, what? I, I like it. Now it's a placeholder. <laughs> okay, good luck to raid. No, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on a workshop and I'll find something later. Oh, she's like gonna it. like it. Now it's a placeholder. Okay, good luck to raid. So you and reckless attack. Is yeah, you can, you can reckless attack any of your attacks. You just <laughs> you can do it right away. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that something you do later? No, no, no you can. Yeah. Okay. Everybody else. Can I didn't get a practice shot at this. Right okay. Mm. So, uh, okay. So I just roll. You roll with advantage in your. Yeah! I don't know how to play D anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But roll again. Advantage. 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 Oh, reckless. You took me the twenty. Okay. Uh. Seventeen. That hits. Good roll. Okay. So you pull your giant. I take out my beautiful great sword. There you go. Freshly purchased. <laughs> Freshly purchased. <laughs> In fact, this is the first time it's seen battle. It is the first time it's seen battle. All right. All right. Oh, she is a barbarian. Duh. Duh. Okay. A weird influx of falchion look. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen puts it on the on the one that's already been damaged. Yeah. All right. The big, uh, the, big the first guy. Yeah. All right. So that that strike. Get uh, the fuck out of my tent! Yeah. No, it does not make the same. It, it rolled. It was in a tent, though. Wait, did somebody else just make that same joke? Yeah. No, it does not make the same. It, it rolled. Big one. Some. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Yeah, no, it does not make the same. Thing. It rolled. Talison, see me and Talison. We're all we're on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, as you come down with your blade and carve through its body, you watch as it kind of curls back, trying to reform and hold itself. But your blow is too strong, and its zombie-ish form could not maintain a cohesive hold on its. It's form, and you watch as it just crumbles to the ground, no longer moving. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Get out the tent, man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 
Yeah. All right, so that ends your turn. As you're there kind of growling animalistically towards the creature. Ooh, um, that feels fun. <laughs> I think I like it. You have about five more feet of movement if you wanted to move. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, a little bit closer to... Uh, oh wait, how many more are left Just the other one. Just, one Just the other one? one? There, yeah. yeah, so I'll get, I'll get ready for the other one. So a okay. little bit closer to, to, Is to it. Smaller one yeah, smaller one. Okay. All right, that ends your turn, Yasha. Forward you up. Shit. Then I'll turn <laughs> and uh, head towards other tree zombie. Fuck. Okay. Yep. Uh, I would like to use my bonus action to cast Hex on it. Okay. So you watch as, as Ford kind of lumbers towards this, his large armored half elf form, holding the blade in his hand, puts his hand out, and the shadows suddenly swirl and gather around this zombified woman's form and cling to it like it's holding it in place. Uh. So, with it now hexed, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to use my falchion. <laughs> of course. To, to open it the fuck up. All right. right, go for it. <laughs> uh, 21. That definitely hits. Go roll damage. The dumb shit we say now makes a t-shirt uh, that's 12 later. points of damage <laughs> plus. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> Uh, five points of necrotic damage. Seventeen points of Whoa, damage. Whoa, jeez! <laughs> Level two, that's major. So as you rush up after the shadows gather around, it looks up to you. <laughs> and it pulls back ready to strike, and you just kind of shake your head. And <laughs> one large swipe of your falchion, carve this Shit. giant mark across Ooh, its nice. chest. Uh, where, the, where the cloth and flesh kind of opens, you can see this kind of blackened interior. The muscles are trying to move, almost like worms, to regather yeah. and tighten. All right, that ends, uh. that ends your turn. Uh, that brings us to Caleb. All right, I know that it's restricted movement, but I will push this way through the crowd so that I have a clearer shot as far as I can, and then I will re-up with chromatic orb. 30. You can push right about there. You just barely pull through the crowd to the front to get a clear view. You. I certainly don't want to do that. I want to okay. stay in the crowd <laughs> okay. behind people, and I will do chromatic orb again, but this time I'm going to set it to acid. So let's see okay. if it hits. Oh, that's not good. It's 11. 11, unfortunately, does not yeah, shot it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Nine. That's it. <laughs> All right, so as you, as you pull it a second Nine. time, you're, Nine. you're pushing through the crowd, and you pull yeah. up your diamond, and right as you're about to release the spell, one of the uh, people in the crowd like slams into you with their shoulder, and you kind of <sighs> start off to the side. The acid bolt of the chromatic orb flies off and actually burns a hole through the distant tent and then vanishes into the night sky. <laughs> hope that didn't Shit. hit anyone. <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully. All right, that ends your turn, Caleb. Not you're up. Uh, do I have eyes on the biggie? You do. Uh, uh, and is Fjord right next to him Ford or Fjord and Molly Mock are both Ford. next to it, yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just peek out behind whatever patron I'm, I'm next to, okay. uh, take out my little crossbow and <laughs> just shoot, shoot a little shot. Go for it. Shoot your shot, King. <laughs> What is it? Shoot a little shot. <laughs> Go for it. Is it made of piano wire? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16. 16 hits. Like Go to every damage. time you roll, it comes out yeah, of It does. This is very bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so 1d6. That's a 4 plus 4 is 8. Plus, I get sneak attack damage. You do. Because yeah. I'm a rogue. Uh, <laughs> Another 4, so that's 12. Is the creature bigger than me? It is. I will use. Fury of the Small <laughs> <laughs> to inflict another two points of damage on it. Oh, nice. Okay, with it. 15 points of damage. Okay. Okay. As you pull around the corner and release your one crossbow bolt, it hits the bottom of the chin and pokes out one of the eyes. The oh. eye just goes Ooh. flying off in the distance oh, as the bolt is now jammed outside of the socket. The creature turns. Oh. <laughs> ah! Kind of glancing in your direction. It looks pretty hurt, but it's still standing. Uh, can I use the rest of my action, movement, Too whatever brave. bonus, to s look at the patron I'm with, I'm next to? Uh, do they do they have any baubles or jewelry on them? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. Um, I'll say you can use your bonus action. Yeah. <laughs> just, just look. <laughs> Just look at you could, I think you could do this turn, but next yeah. turn you could have gone. So uh, go make, make, make a perception check. <laughs> oh, it's just nine. Nine? It's hard to look. You see this, this, uh, this uh, what looks to be a, a, a late 30s woman dressed in, in some sort of a uh, general worker's clothing with like a, a loose apron, 
and she's just running and scrambling to make towards the exit. You don't see anything of worth on her, okay. unfortunately. Sorry. That's it. All right, nothing. It's your turn, Molly. You're up. Um, I'm going to. I'm. I'm still engaged with it, right? You are. Okay. I'm just going to take two swipes. Okay. So you spin around. You pull your second scimitar out as part of the strike. Mm -hmm. One of them encased in ice crystals. So the first strike. May make sure you mark which one. Uh, which. Purple's. Purple's the. Okay. Purple's the item. Uh, that's. Uh, the the purple is uh, 12 to hit. 12 just barely hits. Ooh. So they both hit, so that's good. So that's going to be for all three then, because the other one is uh, 21 to hit. That hits, yeah. That's um, nice. Is the first one? The first one is four points of damage. Four points of damage? Mm -hmm. that's I, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, the, 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 the magic one is, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Six points plus three ice, so nine points. Nine mm -hmm. points of damage. All right. And the other one is four points of damage. Okay. So the, the first strike hits, and as the the scimitar curves uh, carves through, the body like snaps and opens, yeah. and it <laughs> snaps Jeez. back into place. The torso kind of locking back in. The second strike is how much damage? Uh, four points of damage. Four points of damage. Yeah. The second one hits again, and you watch as the torso kind of spins off. It looks like only the spinal column is holding it in place, but it's, named, it's managing to maintain its structure as it's. <laughs> is that ends your turn. Bro, so Matt is anyone? crazy yep. with that. Right, ending Molly Mock's turn. That brings us to Bo. Bo, you got this. Come on, Bo. In response to him, I say, I thought you said I'm you just... didn't let in the sick. Just kill it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and I come up and I want to do like a flying Superman. Kaboom. Yeah. 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 Bam! Go for it. Um, first one. Ten, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 16? That'll hit. Oh, damage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can I, I have my, my stat. Oh, I have my stat. You said you're doing good. Yeah, you said Superman Punch. It's fine. 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 Okay. Uh, sad, uh, uh, six. Six damage. Six points of damage. Natural 20. It, it, you watch as you sock it in the face and the jaw kind of <coughs> breaks and then sh 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 snaps back into Jeez. place. Mm. As you land, pulling it back, you can see some of the teeth are actually stuck in your fist as you pull back Jeez. and broken off into your knuckles. Mm. Oh, 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 come on. I'm going to use my other key point to do flurry of blows again. Boop, boop, boop. Go for it. And I'm going to like, try and punch him in the, in the like right in the bridge like with what's his teeth with the remainder of his teeth. There are teeth, technically. Use him as like this is the woman that was killed brass nuts. Oh, I'll be like, mm, you were so pretty too. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Um, two more okay. strikes. Two more strikes. Two more strikes. Nineteen, yeah, yeah, nineteen yeah, yeah, and eighteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll say those And then, then um, okay. That's a really pretty nice. Yes. I know they're all. Uh, eight, twelve, oh, thirteen, good. damage. Okay. Natural one, no. Ooh. So the, first, yeah. the, 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 the second Natural. punch, you swing wide and hit the side of the, of the head and the neck kind of snaps and it's now stuck in a sideways position as it turns the jaw. It pulls back one of its like weirdly swollen clawed hands ready to go ahead and go for that like open wound in your gut. And as it does, how, how do you want to do this? Oh boy. Oh boy, the first one, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> Like do the uppercut with the other one and the one that has like its teeth in it. I want to go kind of right in between the bridge of the nose and like get the teeth right in the eyes and kind of just like break the nose bridge kind of into the brain. All right. You know that thing? Ooh. Yeah. And as you do that, wham! You slam into its face. You watch as the skull caves in, the teeth piercing both of the red bulging eyes. Ooh, that's and with fire. this horrible sucking kind of sighing sound. <laughs> It falls onto its back, no longer moving. The I, shadows released. I like grab my uh, gash and fucked up ribs, and then immediately turn over me. Can I like in, like do an, a perception check or an insight check on any of the ringleaders? On any of what was? If someone is wounded like that, does that affect their mo their movement? Uh, either their speed. Yeah, does that does that affect the amount of speed that they have or the amount of spaces that they can move? Because from the video I watched, each space is like five by five i believe uh so yeah let me know what's going on the ringleader of the uh, jester that was your turn unfortunately okay. that's that's your turn that's fair uh okay at this point the current the current threats are are down and the crowd is just screaming and rushing the two members of the crown's guard are rushed to the front weapons ready okay. and they see both of these creatures bloodied and ruined across the base of this in the midst of the chaos, one of them points out and goes like, 
You, you, stay where you are. And you watch as the rest of the crowd slowly pushes through. You see as uh, Gustav manages to make his way in. He goes like, dear God, what's happened here? <laughs> Looks over towards uh, Bo, the breaker, the half orc who's now joined the rest of you. He goes, I, uh, sir, I, I don't know how, how I got in here. And uh, everyone kind of looks around back at you. Uh, Bo looks to you, Gustav looks at you, Molly. What happened? One of them turned, I don't know what happened. Uh. There was a sick guy, there was an old sick guy and he turned into a zombie. And I run over and I cast Cure Wounds on Bo. Oh, thank you, man. Huh. I, I'm pretty down. Well, Are you sick too? I, I wouldn't Did say you that. get hurt? I'm a little, I'm, I'm Bloody Hold on, two seconds, I'm going to cure her, and then I'll cure you too. <laughs> have you ever seen anything like this happen before? No. <laughs> Never. Oh, there you go. No, no man ever. Seven points, that's all I could cure. That's amazing. That's, great. that's, that's great. all and of the points. I'm gonna drop my, uh, drop my sword. Oh, that's better for you, ten for you. Oh, that, yeah, that'll, that'll help. Okay. At this point, the two crowns guard that are there are trying desperately to maintain control. You can see they're visibly shaken. And they have, they look glanced at each other like they're a little out of their depths at the moment. It was like, stay where you are! Don't go anywhere! I don't know wherever will I go. Uh. And he turns to uh, the one who's at the front, looks to the other one who just made his way through and goes, So, women, find someone, get, bring the rest of the guard, please! Right up, sir. And he goes ahead and pushes his way towards the back as the rest of the crowd just runs Who's out. The, now now everyone in the crowd has mostly pushed out of the tent. The last few dregs are pushing through. Children crying, uh, people who uh, trust them all just exiting out the flaps as they close, and you're all kind of standing there, weapons in your hands, wondering what to do. What are the corpses doing now that they've fallen? Uh, they're both unmoving, just Changing. ruined, tor torn apart, and just Can no I search more. the corpse of the woman? Uh, as you you can, as you go to move yeah. to it, both of your forms kind of merge. The, the crown scar goes like, don't, don't move. Which one? <laughs> Bo, uh, <laughs> genuinely confused. And when I'm going, which one? I make my second form just kind of dart forward and start yeah. searching the body. <laughs> okay, it mimics <laughs> searching a body. <laughs> it's it's really not bad. actually <laughs> you. It begins <laughs> rifling imaginary things yeah. out of the pockets. <laughs> Look at all the stuff that that one's finding over there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn and look, and I try to search the other guy? <laughs> Make a deception check to try and uh, try and deceive him as he glances over. It's clever. It's clever. <laughs> Not bad. Hey. Uh, nineteen. Oh wow. <laughs> He goes, what over there? <laughs> <laughs> As you jump over quickly and begin kind of searching through it, you guys watch her do this, and there's like a clear line of sight. As soon as he turns back, he's going to notice her rifling <laughs> through the other corpse. Is Gustav still in here? Gustav is, is now walking up, and he's like, hands up in the air, and it's like, I, I am terribly sorry. I. This has never happened. I don't know what happened. What happened? We've never seen anything like it before. He just. Gripped his heart and fell over and turned into that thing. It was when. What's it was with when, like it the. It was when Toya started seeing. Yeah, what's with the dwarven girl? What's why. Nothing like this. No, she's, she's been singing with us for over two years now. How'd she come to you? She was a pretty young girl. She had no family and she was singing in the street for change. And there was an opportunity. We seized it. We gave her a family she didn't have. Put your ah. hand down. I, I, Crown Scar goes like, mm. it's fine, just don't move. Did I find anything? Uh, make, an, make an investigation check. <laughs> she uses a different dice for everything, Shut Travis? Up. Is that what I'm dealing with You're now? You're not even ready. <laughs> 14? So excited. You managed to, to... Sounds like you're jealous, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> no, you rifle through uh, this the, the, the old man's body. Uh, through the, the string bits of gore. Um, uh, you manage I found to, some intestines. Uh, <laughs> and you, you do find three pieces of silver that are just coated in, in blood. Watch that. <laughs> Watch that right out. You know what I'm saying? You'll be all right. Uh, a few moments pass. Uh, the rest of the people are gone, and it's just this awkward quiet. And at this point, you watch as Orna, the, uh, the, the, the fire fairy who had previously performed, kind of walks in and goes like, oh, I'm sorry, what has happened to you? Uh, your little dwarf girl was singing, and it, she turned people into zombies. I feel that that was entirely coincidental. I'm really not sure the yeah, two things are related. We just had this 
Something was wrong with this man. See, it's interesting, because I would say the opposite. I would say it wasn't that coincidental, because you... I would you agree. It seemed to happen with the We've scene. We've seen her sing dozens, hundreds of times. Nothing like this has ever happened. I've seen people sit in the front row hundreds of times. Nothing have like this has ever happened. the elderly and the sick in these tents before? Yeah, you, you also happen to be very explicit on your, uh, your oh. page that you don't want the sick, good so... Good, good, good And at this motion, Gustav goes, it's generally just because we want to promote a space of of welcoming cleanliness and when we're working amongst the outskirts of the empire we don't want to bring a, an element that reminds you of death and God, you hate old people so much. well we're just people yeah, that's, we're that's an entertainment crazy. we have to be cautious the, the single crowns guard guy is in there with his weapon out it's just like you can <laughs> see him like shaking almost he's never had to deal with anything like this before and he's like hold up I've never seen that one before. He looks really suspicious. Towards him? No, the guy behind him. <gasps> he does look suspicious. Make, make a deception check. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Eight. Eight. He goes, don't try that on me. <laughs> I've been doing this for over 10 years. Oh, I can tell. I can't well, look at him. Yeah, oh. I can stall He's... Mithurgy and make it sound like there's a sound coming from behind him, too. Make a make a slight of hand check to see if you can oh cast this spell subtly enough for him not to oh notice. Poor guard. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Natural one! Uh. As you attempt to cast the spell, a little bit of spittle gets caught oh. in your windpipe, and you <coughs> begin to cough uncontrollably. <laughs> just, yeah, it just falls away. She's not associated with that. Of course! Okay. Where did I go? That you should know that whatever happened to that first man, when he attacked the woman, she caught whatever he had. And that is uh, extremely worrying. Nobody touched that body. And he looks back and, and uh, sees you coughing over the corpse of the guy's like, don't, don't touch that body! <laughs> Are you I sick? I have bloody fingers as I... Someone hold her down. If she's sick and turns into one of these, I will not sully some cut she's you. She's fine. Just calm down. Oh, we've already killed two of them. He's definitely sick. Make a deception <laughs> check. <laughs> definitely turning sick. Uh, oh, it's cocked, unfortunately. That was a good one. Oh, well. Uh, 16? 16? He, his, his face goes white and he goes, Kill the thing! And rushes forward, oh, blade Jesus. held above. I run to intercept. You're gonna kill a guard? Stop! Stop! He kind of holds back. He turns to you and sees you standing like a full four inches taller than him, with a much larger blade, and goes like, with one hand even. He goes, like, "Look, if she's going to become one of these things, we have to stop her now." Uh, yeah, she will totally kill me. Don't worry, you can leave. <laughs> no, it, it, it's Jester. Jester. No. Jokes are great until they get you killed. Man, she's joking. She's joking. <laughs> <laughs> he like rubs his eyes. You can see him like like now that he's closer to you. You can see he's sweating. He's scared. Oh man. He's generally trying the best he can to use whatever training he's received to this deal with a scenario he was not trained for. Uh, this is the king's guard guy. One of, one of the Crown's Guard. The Crown's, Crown's Guard are, 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 yeah, they're, they're all generally hired and trained militia that are sent amongst all the cities to keep the peace. Uh, what's your name, man? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, he's really shook up. Yeah, he's just... <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. I don't know what my name is. Let me, let me look it up in my notepad. <laughs> wow, he's really shook up. <laughs> yeah, he's just... <laughs> Oh, what's James? <laughs> Flynn. Flynn. And like Flynn. How, how long you been doing this? You said 10 years? 10 years, uh, two months ago. 10 years, oh. Happy 10 year anniversary. <laughs> yeah, congrats. <laughs> did you get like a nice watch or like a commemorative tankard? I don't have watches here. Shit, did you get a commemorative tankard? <laughs> no, don't move. I'm not moving, man. Hey, hey, hey. Will hey, you? hey, hey, Flynn, yeah. hey, hey, Flynn. Hey man, how about first we we put the the swords down because we kind of like All of us helped. Have our down. Yeah, are, You're wait, fine. are any of us high charisma? <laughs> At this point, because it no. don't seem like no. it. Yeah. Flaps at the front of the tent, <laughs> the entranceway, fold in, and you watch as one, oh two, oh, three, no. four, no. six, ten crowns guard begin filtering into the chamber. 
Oof. He watches one man who, uh, the one who has his helmet off and kind of under his shoulder. Uh, he's maybe in his early 40s or so, very short brown hair with patches of gray, somewhat jaundiced skin. Um, Molly, you've encountered this man once before when you oh, entered the city. Uh, he approaches Gustav right now with a commanding voice. Um, I had a gut feeling that you were nothing but trouble when you came into our town. Gustav turns around. I, I guarantee to you, my friend, I have no idea what happened here. The Crown's guard has been shaking hands around and goes, um, Sir Flynn, um, I, uh, there was a creature. Um, this carnival seemed to create some sort of terrible entity that killed and then created a secondary beast. I watched it with my own eyes from the back row. And the uh, man turns back towards Gustav and the rest of you. And who else saw that? We did. Well, we saw an old guy turn into a zombie, but it's possible that he just died because he was old, and then he had the zombie curse on him and just turned, mm -hmm. you know? Because that happens a lot. <laughs> Gustav, it's no use. We've been found out our, our terrible plot to make a zombie rampage through our carnival has been discovered. Whatever will we do now that we've been discovered for our brilliant plot to make a zombie ruin our circus? My Flynn God. turns to you and goes like, Put your weapons down, we will arrest you immediately! I'm literally holding nothing but my hands. I mean, I'm sorry, but we are basically a group of strangers. Most of us don't know each other. We all have the same story. There was a show, the thing, an old man became a thing, and we helped destroy it. This one destroyed it. What more do you want from it us? ruined our show. Flynn turns back and says, Watchmaster, what should we do? And the uh, man with the helmet under his arm walks forward, walks to Gustav, and gives him one look over. Still a few inches shorter than him, but looks at him with a, a sense of purpose and uh, uh, social status that has a sense of, of disinterest and disrespect. <coughs> you, sir, and your orc, and your circus are considered currently under arrest. <gasps> Who else belongs to your merry band? And he looks about at this and Gustav goes, um, the orc, uh, glances back at the two of you and goes, the rest of them are just purveyors of our performances. He was just joking earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception check. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. Nope. Oh no. <laughs> And is you that, is that a one? Yeah, are also a one. <laughs> under arrest. Oh no. Oh no. The rest of you, what are your names? Shirley. Ah, uh, Temple. Rick <laughs> <laughs> Wittogast. Not supposed to be called the name. Bo, same as him. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> I am Bo. <laughs> Mary, by the way, but um, <laughs> I think I know who might know what has happened here. Do you? Tell me. I'll we'll have to go get her. And who is this? She is the singer that made this all happen. Hmm? Flynn, escort this woman to retrieve this individual she speaks of. Flynn kind of nods and walks over towards you. She's really shy, though, and I hear she only talks to tieflings, so you should probably send Stay you know, where you my are. brother along, because he's really good with that stuff. Mm. With that. Try not to stab any random people on your way there, Flynn. You're doing good. My men tell me that the rest of you helped destroy these fiends. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. And on the behalf of the Starosta, I appreciate your aid. But until this investigation is complete, you are all under investigation from us. Where are you staying? Uh, the Nestle Nook Inn. Good. Nested Nook. Yep. <laughs> Nestle. 
Nestle? Yeah, right. Oh, shit. Yeah. One letter. God, I'm an intelligence it. of 14. I know what I'm doing. Yes. Hey. <laughs> do not. Do not leave the city unless you are told otherwise. Should you do so, I have your names. And I can have the full might of the Cerberus Assembly track you down. You, Flynn, free this girl. While you all stand in this tent, Flynn approaches you and kind of walks a little bit behind you. Weapon drawn, but at the side. Do you read him out of the tent? Okay. So you walk through the performer's flap, and as you walk out, um, you can see kind of backed up into the, the number of tents that are set up uh, and some of the carts. Other members of the uh, circus are hiding, and as soon as you exit out the front and they see you before the, the crown's guard, they all immediately scatter and vanish into the nearby shadows out of sight. The two of you walk out uh, into the center, kind of the fire crackling in the small pit off to the side. All right, where is this, um, this girl you speak of? She's in the back in the tent. Show me. Follow me. Okay, he follows you. Where, which tent do you lead him to? In the back over here. Over here? Yeah. Okay, there's a larger tent. As he walks by your side, there's the flap. It's slightly open. God, um, seduce him now, right? You're welcome. Get rid of... She won't talk to me. She's too scared of me. All right. Gets his weapon ready, and he just kind of walks into the tent. I close the tent, and I take off. Okay. She's so smart. Uh, there's a few moments before in the distance you hear a voice say, the tent is empty. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Nice. <laughs> Got him. And you don't look back and you just run into the darkness of night, into the marrow fields, and disappear. So Yasha's... Why so mysterious? <laughs> yeah, Yasha's... Ruddy really mysterious. While that was happening, I would Ruddy also... mysterious. I'm close to the edge of the tent, and at some point, I just... and, um... summoned, uh, Frumpkin. I have up to 30 feet outside the tent. So Frumpkin's out there. <clears throat> okay. Within 100 feet. Odin keeps watch. The, um, Watchmaster, as you heard him notify earlier, turns to the rest of you. So... The investigation will begin. If any information comes to light that could alleviate you of the charges brought to this carnival, come to me and let me know. If you have no answers before we complete this investigation, then I believe you all will fall into the judgment. Yikes. Next time we don't help, that's what it comes down to. I know, we got paid the Just first time we helped, and then we got the second yeah. time. I don't know what lesson Just to learn. Just say okay and let's leave. Yeah. <laughs> so, the guards escort you out of the tent. Molly, you're stuck behind with Gustav and Bo, the breaker, with a guard of five uh, crowns guards set to keep watch. As the rest of you are set to the city, the watchmaster turns once more and says, remember, you flee. I'll find you. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. Oh, 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 oh man. Please, don't forget the first one. That's a good spot. Oh, man, oh, man. We Johnson did it, we did it, we did it. Holy shit. We had to get Molly out. Yeah. Oh, everything's better with Molly. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> um, well, guys, that, welcome to the first campaign, oh uh, the new campaign of the season two, I guess. Oh my goodness. Electric Ooh. Boogaloo. Oh, wow. Electric Boogaloo. I'm enjoying Look at it. these cool yeah. Yeah. cases that we have. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Sam. I swear to God. Yeah. I used a hundred percent new dice, no repeats from Keyleth. Yeah, totally no. new dice. Couldn't do it. I kept the guild dice. I used some new dice. Oh, combo. Oh, what are you talking combo. about? Some new dice. I used this no. beautiful little. <laughs> oh, 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 the snitch's the snitch is mine. Yeah. Look at all the twenties. Uh, <laughs> <rules tonight. laughs> Apparently, all he wants 20s. to die. I know. I'll get a fancy. Yeah, something fancy. He wants to see outside with him. 
Oh man. Well, gave it away. I'm excited. Such wow. cool characters, wow. guys. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. Wow. I still don't know what half of you guys are. <laughs> What's Travis? Everyone got everyone did something that, that revealed them tonight. You know, I don't know nothing. I don't know Should how to play D and D. Should we in case you're Sam and you don't know? I'm a ballerina. Oh, he's a prima. He's pretty pretty prima. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, guys. We're very hard. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome Year. back. Happy New Year to you guys. Thank you for coming along with us on Thank this first back, episode Blaze. of the New Journey. Thank you, Backblaze and D&D Beyond for being awesome sponsors, partners yeah. in this going forward. Um, uh, thank you for more for this amazing table. Thank you guys yeah. for Indeed. coming along with us this evening for our oh first dive into this new venture. <laughs> oh wow. Hope you enjoyed it. We did. Thank you to our amazing crew. Thank you, Matt amazing Marshall, crew. for this amazing yes. uh, new campaign. Yes. Honestly, thanks, bro. Matt does such a good job, dude. I mean, they all do a really good job, but like he's, he's such a good DM. I would like try to put myself in the shoes of a dungeon master in general. I got like so much respect for, for you guys that'll be able to take on that role and you feel comfortable in it because, it seems like the most intimidating one. It seems like the most fun role, but it's also the most intimidating. Wow. I'm excited. Welcome. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Yev. Thanks, Yev. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have a wonderful evening. We'll see you next week. Uh, see where this next stage in the story takes us. Ashley, I'm glad you can make it for this first episode. Yay. Yay. Yes, sir. Fine and dash. Until then, Nine have a wonderful half. night. Sleep well, and is it Thursday yet? Yay. Good night. Yay. Yay. I'm like super invested now. That's such an interesting plot point. I wonder if this was caused by the singer or if this is just something that's going around and maybe the singer's a red herring but it seems to me if i had to guess that it is the singer but was it molly or was it Bo that said that they were like a, on the streets so if they were just a younger girl that was on the streets and they're just singing i don't know if maybe their voice is kind of used as like some sort of uh like by somebody else using that person's power for something else if you watch my hero academia there's an arc where there's this uh younger gets to this kid that has like this ability but it's used in a negative way i wonder if this is like one of those things but we'll see man this is really cool i really enjoyed this i'm learning a lot keep me informed keep me posted on anything i missed and just give me feedback you know do all the good things y'all know what i'm talking about i don't want to talk your ear off too much but i did really enjoy this i'm happy that i got started with this finally and i'm excited for the next episode if you enjoyed it share it have a good morning afternoon or night stay safe out there and i will see you guys in the next one Peace.